Like most people, you've probably experienced the issue of running out of storage space in your vehicle and having to resurrect the ever useful Tetris skills to fit everything in there. And maybe you've gone as far as to opt for the gas guzzling SUV for the family road trip rather than the hybrid, effectively doubling your fuel expense for the trip. Well, the way I see it, heck that. Heck that. No way. Heck no. As far as locking rooftop storage, you've got a pretty good amount of options with prices that are as low as just a few hundred dollars. But when it comes to locking hitch mounted compartments, whew, I hope you can bake because you're gonna be spinning that bread. Thule makes one for $600, Stowaway makes one for 800. Now I'm sure these are wonderful products. I would love to have them. But if that's not in your budget, like it's not in mine, then the time is nigh for a little DIY. Today, we're gonna to be putting together a full metal locking hitch mounted cargo box for around $250. This project is extremely easy and more importantly, extensively tested. I've logged over 50,000 miles going back and forth across America with it attached to my Prius. And in that time, I've developed a few recommendations for getting the best experience using it. And I'll share those with you at the end of this video. Let's begin with the tools you'll need. First and foremost, you will want an electric drill with a 5 16 bit. And second, you'll want two wrenches of the same size. These can either be half inch, whoop, half inch, or in metric, 12 millimeter. Or if you wanna be lazy, just go with an adjustable wrench. I respect that. Then you'll also want some measuring tape, and a marker to mark where you're going to drill your holes. As far as hardware, we want four 5 16 hex bolts that are one inch long, four 5 16 flat fender washers that are one and a half inch wide each, and four stop nuts. The reason we really want stop nuts is because this contraption is gonna be rattling a lot when you're driving around, and we don't want these working their way loose and the box bouncing off and tumbling through traffic on the highway as I've seen in my nightmares. When I said this build was gonna be easy, that was no lie. We're basically just gonna be combining two products that can be purchased on Amazon. The first is this 60 inch wide hitch mounted cargo rack. And the second is this 49 inch locking toolbox. So let's dive in, shall we? I'm not going to make you watch as I put this thing together, but if you need help with it, refer to this document. Whoa, what's this? Whoa! So the cargo rack has now been assembled, and I've actually mounted the folding mechanism upside down. It's actually cool that you can mount it either way. And the reason for that is because when the box is on here, it's not going to be very useful to fold up anyway, in fact, it's gonna be more useful to fold down out of the way if you have a hatchback and the door needs a little more clearance. Let's check out that toolbox. It's made of aluminum, not extremely thick. It's got these handles on the side that are spring loaded. What we're gonna do is flip it over and mark out our holes for where we're going to drill. Now I'm going to mark one inch in from each corner, like one inch that way, one inch that way. Now that I've got these four points marked, it's time to drill, baby, drill. You might want it mounted all the way to the side so that you can store something a little larger on this side, maybe like a gas canister. I like to have it in the center because that prevents it from blocking either of my tail lights. Next, take your fender washers and 5 8 bolts and jam them through there. This part sucks. <laughs> Now 
Now that these are securely fastened together, you might be thinking, it's good to go. Well, hold your horses, because I got some pro tips for you. And if you're thinking, I don't need no pro tips. All right, hot shot. Uh, imagine it's 2 p.m. and the sun is like right there in the sky and you just walk around to grab a can of chicken noodles or something <laughs> and you bend over this thing and get blasted in the face of the fury of the sun. This is like a mirrored surface. Then what are you going to do, smart guy? Well, you should probably paint the top of this. I painted mine white, but maybe you'd want to paint the entire thing black to match the aesthetic of the cargo carrier. But I did not do that because I was worried about turning the entire thing into a big oven from absorbing all that heat from the sun. The next concern I would raise is about your clearance. I mean, if you have this on an SUV or a truck, you're probably fine. But if you have this on something like what I did, I put it on a Prius, and not only a Prius, but one that was significantly weighed down with a lot of gear. And for the first while, every time I would go down a curb, this thing would just smash into the ground. And that was with a four inch riser on the hitch. What I ended up doing is having a friend fabricate me an eight or 10 inch riser so that mine sits pretty high off the ground. Something else you can do to help not only with ground clearance, but also when you're trying to parallel park in cities is to remove the joint piece. And that will actually bring it like 10 inches closer to your vehicle. If this is blocking your license plate, you will need to Take off your license plate from your vehicle and bolt it to the front of this and then put some sort of light to light up the license plate at night. You can find solar ones to rig up that will do a pretty good job and you don't have to worry about turning it off and on. It'll automatically do that. If you're not super familiar with mounting things on a hitch, this thing will wobble all over the place. So I highly recommend investing in hitch tighteners. They only cost like $10 and they really improve the stability of the box. The last thing I would recommend is to buy one of those hanging closet organizers because they fit in here just about perfect and it's a very simple way to add compartments to organize the contents of your box. So that's about all I've got to say about this thing. If you want to make one yourself, I will of course have links to all the items I mentioned in the video's description. I mean, it's served me extremely well and it's one of the things I'm most often asked about when I'm out and about. So please share this video with your favorite travel buddy. And if you end up making one, I would love to hear about where you took it and how it served you. Until next time, take it easy. Heck it, that's some heckin' bull heck.